Catherine Romani Beckinsale is an English actress. The recipient of various accolades, including a Saturn Award, two MTV Movie Awards, two Critics' Choice Awards, and two National Film Awards UK, she is known for her roles in period, romance, and action films. Wikipedia Born, July 26, 1973, age 51 years, Chiswick, London, United Kingdom. Spouse, Len Wiseman, M., 2004-2019. Children, Lily M. O'Sheen. Height, 1.7 meters. Parents, Richard Beckinsale, Judy Lowe. Siblings, Samantha Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale was born on the 26th of July 1973 in West Middlesex Hospital, Alworth, Middlesex, England, and has resided in London for most of her life. Her mother is Judy Lowe, who has appeared in a number of British dramas and sitcoms and continues to work as an actress, predominantly in British television productions. Her father was Richard Beckinsale, born in Nottingham, England. He starred in a number of popular British television comedies during the 1970s, most notably the series Rising Damp, 1974, Porridge, 1974, and The Lovers, 1970. He passed away tragically early in 1979 at the age of 31. Kate attended the private school Godolphin and Latimer School in London for her grade and primary school education. In her teens she twice won the British bookseller W. H. Smith Young Writers' Competition, once for three short stories and once for three poems. After a tumultuous adolescence, a bout of anorexia, cured, and a smoking habit, which continues to this day, she gradually took up the profession of acting. Her major acting debut came in a TV film about World War II, called One Against the Wind, 1991, filmed in Luxembourg during the summer of 1991. It first aired on American television that December. Kate began attending Oxford University's new college, in the fall of 1991, majoring in French and Russian literature. She had already decided that she wanted to act, but to broaden her horizons she chose university over drama school. While in her first year at Oxford, Kate received her big break in Kenneth Branagh's film adaptation of William Shakespeare's Much Ado, About Nothing, 1993. Kate worked in three other films while attending Oxford, beginning with a part in the medieval historical drama Royal Deceit, 1994, cast as Ethel. The film was shot during the spring of 1993 on location in Denmark, and she filmed her supporting part during New College's Easter break. Later in the summer of that year she played the lead in the contemporary mystery drama Uncovered, 1994. Before she went back to school, her third year at university was spent at Oxford's study abroad program in Paris, France, immersing herself in the French language, Parisian culture and French cigarettes. A year away from the academic community, and living on her own in the French capital, caused her to re-evaluate the direction of her life. She faced a choice, continue with school or concentrate on her flourishing acting career. After much thought, she chose the acting career. In the spring of 1994 Kate left Oxford, after finishing three years of study. Kate appeared in the BBC, Thames Television satire Cold Comfort Farm, 1995. Filmed in London and East Sussex during late summer 1994 and which opened to spectacular reviews in the United States, grossing over $5 million during its American run. It was re-released to UK theatres in the spring of 1997. Acting on the stage consumed the first part of 1995. She toured in England with the Thelma Holtz Theatre Company production of Anton Chekhov's The Seagull. After turning down several mediocre scripts and going nearly berserk with boredom, she waited seven months before another interesting role was offered to her. Her big movie of 1995 was the romance, horror movie Haunted, 1995, starring opposite Aidan Quinn and John Gielgud, and filmed in West Sussex. In this film she wanted to play, an object of desire. Unlike her past performances, where her characters were much less the siren and more the worldly innocent, Kate's first film project of 1996, was the British ITV production of Jane Austen's novel Emma, 1996. Her last film of 1996 was the comedy Shooting Fish, 1997, filmed at Shepperton Studios in London during early fall. She played the part of Georgie, 
An altruistic con artist, she had a daughter, Lily, in 1999 with actor Michael Sheen. Family Spouse Lynn Wiseman, May 9, 2004, November 5, 2019, Divorced Children Lily Mo Sheen Parents Judy Lowe Richard Beckinsale Roy Battersby Relatives Samantha Beckinsale Half-sibling Trivia Aged 6 a school report found she had the reading age of an 11-year-old and an IQ of 152, spent her teens reading French, Russian and German novels because of her studies, and completed a levels in Russian, German and French, which resulted in her admission to Oxford University, attended New College, Oxford, England where she studied French and Russian literature, before dropping out in her third year to pursue acting. Director Stephen Summers wanted Kate for the role of Anna Valerius in Van Helsing, 2004. But Stephen feared that it was too similar in tone to Underworld, 2003, a film that Kate started and was filming at the time. Eventually, her agent got Summers to send the script and Kate immediately signed on. Mother, with ex-boyfriend Michael Sheen, they dated from 1995 to 2003, of daughter Lily Mo Sheen, be January the 31st, 1999. Quotes, if someone had told me years ago that sharing a sense of humor was so vital to partnerships, I could have avoided a lot of sex. No one is more enslaved than a slave who doesn't think they're enslaved. Everybody likes the underdog, because everybody feels like the underdog. No matter how successful you are, you always think, no one's being nice enough to me. I try and take lots of vitamins and I don't drink. I do smoke. Though, I'd be insufferable if I didn't smoke, you'd have to push me off a balcony I'd be so boring. With every project you do, you bring out a part of yourself, and it seems to be quite a good way of expanding a person. Apparently. I get fossils and manicures all the time. I read this and think, oh, I wish I did that. I don't think I've had a facial since I was 19. When I shave my legs, I use my child's shampoo and a razor, if I can find one. If I did everything they said I did, I would never see Lily. I dropped out of Oxford, and now I only speak Russian with the woman who gives me a bikini wax. See what Hollywood does to you. I think, at 19, I was very grown up in certain ways and extremely not so in others. If I had come on to a movie set at that age, and someone had said, you're a bit funny looking, can you go on a diet? I might have jumped off a building. I just didn't have the confidence to put that into perspective at the time. I look at how Kerr Knightley is coiffed when she attends events. I remember going to Cannes with Much Ado, about nothing, 1993, when I was 18, and nobody told me, oh, here's a makeup artist or, this person wants to dress you. What clothes are you wearing? It just wasn't like that when I started. Nobody even told me I could bring a friend. I just sort of showed up in a very expensive pair of trousers I bought in Harvey Nichols, and something I bought in the sock shop at the airport. But Kern Knightley has like full hair, and make up in a proper outfit, and I think, wow, she's not going to have the before photos I had to endure. She's really lucky. I don't think he liked being in a cage and wouldn't stop masturbating, and humping his bowl about her daughter's pet rabbit. It's the only time my education has come in remotely handy. On using her Russian literature studies for copying her, Van Helsing, script into Russian to acquire a Slavic accent. She, Lily, already has some Americanisms, she says, pants, instead of trousers and, elevator, instead of lift. That's more than enough for me. We had something recently, when there were about 16 people in front of us taking pictures, and Lily was enjoying the chance to legitimately shout at some grown-ups because normally she's not allowed. But even when she shouted they didn't stop. I find that shocking. I didn't go looking to marry an American. It just kinda happened like that. I don't think I fit the type of actress Michael Bay had met before. I think he was baffled by me, because my boobs weren't bigger than my head, and I wasn't blonde. I just had my daughter and had lost weight, but was told that if I got the part, I'd have to work out and I just didn't understand why a 1940s nurse would do that. When we were promoting the film, Michael was asked why he had chosen Ben, Affleck, and Josh, Hartnett, and he said, I have worked with Ben before and I love him, and Josh is so manly and a wonderful actor. Then when he was asked about me, he'd say, Kate wasn't so attractive that she would alienate the female audience. He kept saying it everywhere we went, and we went to a lot of places. To me, you only went to the gym if you were really weird and obsessive. Let's stop allowing our young women to be sexual cannon fodder. And let's remember that Harvey Weinstein is an emblem of a system that is sick, and that we have work to do. All of my career I've thought, I need to do things where I learn more, and that I find difficult. Whether it's me learning French, or doing an American accent for the first time, in, The Last Days of Disco, or doing an action movie.
I've always considered this a prolonged apprenticeship to where you're learning how to do stuff. I'm okay with being Marmite. The people who like me really, really like me, and would jump in front of trains for me. But if you don't like me, I don't care. It really doesn't affect me. I think when you're standing around in skin-tight rubber trousers, people automatically assume you don't have much of a sense of humor. Salary, Pearl Harbor, 2001, $50,000. <laughs>